हेलो गाइस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली के कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक इन डिटेल अबाउट द फ्रंट एंड एम्पलीफायर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड आफ्टर द रिसीवर द नेक्स्ट यूनिट इज द एम्पलीफायर्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ डिटेल डिस्कशन अबाउट दीज एम्पलीफायर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक इन डिटेल अबाउट द लो नॉइज प्री एम्पलीफायर्स then the low impedance front end amplifier high impedance front end amplifier trans impedance front end amplifier then fet and bjt front end amplifier so we will be having the in depth understanding about all of them so this video is going to be really interesting when and i hope all of you have watched all of the previous videos regarding the optical communication so now let's start our discussion with the low noise preamplifiers so what happens what is the requirement from an amplifier i want high sensitivity i want high bandwidth right so i want sensitivity and bandwidth of the receiver right so now what i want i want low noise performance as well so if there is high noise amplified by the preamplifier then the output will be contaminated by a lot of noise that is not required this is undesirable so i want low noise preamplifiers so now we want to study the noise sources after which we will be getting to know the preamplifiers now preamplifiers are reducing these noise sources we have already studied about the various noise sources in the previous video so now we are going to see the preamplifiers how the various preamplifiers can be used to reduce the noise from these noise sources right so now first of all we are going to talk about the low impedance preamplifier so now here you can see this is my photodiode which is taking the light and it is converting the light into the electrical signal so this is the rb now here the rb is the resistance associated with the photodiode now here ra is the input resistance of the preamplifier Amplifier. The amplifier is represented by A. Now, in the low impedance front end amplifier, this R A is less. So, the input impedance of this amplifier would be less. So, we will be having the bias load resistor R B. R B is the bias load resistor which is associated with this photo detector, and it is used to match the amplifier impedance, right? to match this so now here in this case if pre amplifier bandwidth is greater than the signal bandwidth i will be getting the best of the result so here the pre amplifier bandwidth is actually greater than or equal to the signal bandwidth and we are going to choose the bias resistor value in such a manner that this condition will be satisfied right otherwise we will be having a lot of losses incurred with the uh, amplifier itself right so we want to have the condition that pre amplifier bandwidth is greater than equal to the signal bandwidth which we can control using the bias resistor we don't have much of the improvement in the sensitivity by this low impedance front end pre amplifier so now here it is not going to improve the sensitivity much now the low signal voltage is developed across the bias resistor and this low voltage is going to tell me that we are not getting a lot of uh, sensitivity over here so it is used for short distance communication only where sensitivity is not an issue when sensitivity is required for the large distance communication when i want a very sensitive device very sensitive amplifier so in that scenario for long distance communication we cannot use this so now rt can be calculated as rtl or rt can be calculated as rb ra upon rb plus ra so these are parallelly connected so i have made them added in the parallel fashion only so 1 upon rb plus 1 upon ra would be rb ra upon rb plus ra so this would be 1 upon rtl so when i take their uh, inverse so it would be rb ra upon rb plus ra so here i am denoting it 1 upon rt will be equal to 1 upon rb plus 1 upon ra so now when you rearrange it you will be getting this formula only now coming to the high impedance front end amplifier because here we had the sensitivity issue we were having low sensitivity in the low impedance amplifiers now here in the high impedance front end amplifier we are tackling the sensitivity issue but here 
we will be having one more issue that would be the bandwidth issue right so how to tackle the sensitivity issue we are trying to reduce all of the noise to the minimum possible value right so all of the noise is reduced to a very minimum value how we are going to reduce that we are going to reduce the input capacitance so this could be easily uh, achievable by reducing the capacitance input capacitance of the amplifier and by operating it on a high frequency devices for the high frequency devices if i operate it the capacitance would be low so now here if i operate it on the high frequency devices or if i reduce the capacitance value capacitance is epsilon a upon d so either by having the area increase or decrease i can change the capacitance so i can change the capacitance i have to reduce the capacitance or i can operate it on high frequency devices so we can use the detector with the low dark current as well so when the low dark current would be there the noise is automatically going to reduce or we can reduce the thermal noise as well so thermal noise is contributing to the bias resistor so so it is going to change the bias value and this is how i want to minimize the thermal noise so as to have a least impact on the bias value now the thermal noise is decreased by high impedance amplifier like i can use the bjt fet amplifiers i will be talking in detail about them as well so if i have high input impedance so in that case the thermal noise will be reduced this is a very big advantage now so with increase of photo detector resistance rb we can also reduce the thermal noise right so either i can have the increase in rb or i can have a high input impedance by using fet or bjt right so or we can have the large input rc time constant so when i have a large input rc time constant so in that scenario also i can reduce the thermal noise so bandwidth is now an issue i already told you here the most important issue that we have is the bandwidth bandwidth is less than the signal bandwidth and because the bandwidth is less over here we requires the equalizer so here the ra was high in the high impedance uh, front end preamplifiers we will be having high ra right so ra value would be high so this would be my amplifier and after that i have to use the equalizers now because it will be having the bandwidth issue we are moving to the trans impedance front end amplifier so you can see this is the low noise high impedance amplifier how we have created the low noise structure with the help of the negative feedback resistor so negative feedback resistor this is a negative feedback resistor now we are using the negative feedback resistor and the equivalent thermal noise current the thermal noise current it is going to shunt the input so this is how our structure would be there so here we will be having the amplifier this is the amplifier then we have the equalizer we have the idt the we have the cd rd and this is ca ca ra and cd rb so this is how we will be having the structure where rb is the bias resistance now cd is the capacitance associated with the preamplifier rf is the negative feedback resistance ra and ca are the input resistance and capacitance associated with the amplifier right so now here now coming to the fet front end amplifier in the fet front end amplifier obviously as an amplifier i am using the fets we have already talked about the fets in the previous classes fets are the devices which is having the high impedance because now fet is having high input impedance the bandwidth issue will be resolved with the help of this structure here we will be using a coupling capacitor with the photodiode so as to couple the power from here up till here here we will be having an amplifier as well as an equalizer so we will be having double amplification with the help of fets as well and with the help of amplifier which is connected here instead of fet i have used the bjt again the bjt is having the best 
requirement is that it is going to give me the high input impedance input impedance would be high so this is the equalizing circuit of the bjt right after that we have the coupling capacitance which is going to couple the power from the photodiode to the bjt and again we have amplifier and we have the equalizer the condition is that r1 this r1 is greater than much greater than rd right so this is how we can bias our uh, transistor as well so now when i have a very high data rate very high data rate in the order of gbps so i require low noise receiver and these are made using the gallium arsenide mes fet right or we can use the silicon mosfet or jfet for the low frequency applications mosfets or jfets are always used for the low frequency applications and mesfets are used for the high frequency applications so when i am using the fets or bjts the bias resistance would be high right so output would be integrated now here here also i have used the equalizer circuit you will be saying i was avoiding the problem of bandwidth issue but then also i have used the equalizer over here why i have used the equalizer over here because here this fet is having high bias resistance which is going to integrate the output and this equalizer is going to again differentiate the output so that i will be getting the actual output i will not be getting the integrated output so we will be having the differentiation in the equalization filter now coming to the trans impedance front end amplifier what are the different characteristics so obviously we will be having the wide dynamic range then the high impedance front end preamplifier the range would be increased so the equalization is not now required here the equalization was at most required because it here we were having various bandwidth issue here the bandwidth issue would not be there because i am using here the feedback resistance right so the bandwidth issue is not there so i can work without equalization as well so here the time constant is also decreased output resistance is small so that power losses would not be there so we will be having less pick up noise or cross talk or less electromagnetic interferences right so we will be having some transfer characteristics like the trans impedances would be there in the transfer characteristics which is going to get the feedback resistor and now it can be with the help of feedback resistor in the transfer characteristic we can see we have the feedback resistor so with the help of feedback resistor we have to make the negative feedback transfer characteristics so i can easily control and i can easily stabilize the output i know in the negative feedback system the controlling and the stabilization is very easy so as i can do the controlling and stabilization in this amplifier as well and this is less sensitive than the high uh, impedance front end preamplifier but this sensitivity issue is not that much because sensitivity is only 2 to 3 db less than the high impedance front end preamplifier so overall i can say if i want to work with an amplifier if i don't have any cost issues if i have don't have any other issues related with the structure so i can go with the trans impedance front and preamplifier if i want to make a very simple structure i will go with the low impedance front and preamplifier right if i want a higher sensitivity and higher uh, bandwidth than this so because here the sensitivity was not that good so then i will be improving the sensitivity with the help of high impedance front end preamplifiers so i hope you understood all of the types of amplifiers in detail so if you have any doubt in any of the front end amplifier you can put the doubt in the comment now and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible I hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and also give me your feedback thank you so much